Hey, what's up, everybody? How y'all doing? It's Jerry here, and I'm back with a brand new episode of the JAA Coolio Show. Now, on this episode of the JAA Coolio Show, I'm going to be reacting to another video of Food Wars on Food Insider. This time, it's going to be UK versus US Pizza Hut. UK versus US Pizza Hut. So basically, if you know what Pizza Hut is, it's a fast food restaurant. And uh, I, I personally got, I got to say that I've been to Pizza Hut several times. It's been a while since I've been to Pizza Hut. And now I'm going to be reacting to a video. In this episode, I'm going to react to a video of US versus UK Pizza Hut. See the differences. And without wasting any time, let's get right into this. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Pizza Hut in the UK and the US. This is Food Wars. At a Pizza Hut in the US, the pizza size that you want to get is often dictated by the type of crust you want to get. For instance, this right here is the smallest you can get, 6 inches, but you can only get it with the pan crust. In the UK, our pizzas come in three sizes. Firstly, we have this small. Okay, so they didn't actually have a small pizza when we went because they said that no one orders them. And if they do, they normally just give them mediums. However, a small is supposed to be nine inches across. In the US, at a Pizza Hut, the only small pizza you can get is one with gluten-free crust. This one here is 10 inches. The next size we have in the UK is the medium pizza. This one is 11 inches across. The large you can also get in the hand toss, the pan, or the thin and crispy crust. This one, 14 inches. Pizza Hut in the UK also offers an all-in-one pan box meal where you can get a large pizza of your choice as well as two sides and two sauces. Here in the US you can get two box meal options. This first one is a medium pizza, five breadsticks and some dipping sauce, and then ten cinnamon sticks with dipping icing. And it comes in one box? That really helps when you're eating this in your car by yourself. <laughs> Alright, now it's looking interesting. It's looking pretty interesting. I can see that from the beginning, like Joe showed the smallest pizza you can get at an American Pizza Hut, which is six inches. Six inches. That's quite small. That's like the size of my hand. I got big hands. That's the size of my hand or half the size of my, my computer screen. Half the size of it. That's small. A small pizza. And it has the box. That's a rectangular box with all this, with a square the rectangular pizza and uh, the bread, stuff like that. And like Joe said, try to eat in the car all by yourself. Well, I personally consumed an entire small pizza of, um, of Domino's in the car all by myself, so this would be light work. I can do this. I can definitely do that. Eat a, rectang a rectangular size piece about this big in the car. I can do that easy. Light work for me. Very light work. <laughs> Not big enough you say? Don't worry, Pizza Hut has got you and the family covered. This is the big dinner box. Ooh, man, look, <laughs> look at this, dude. It's like opening the suitcase in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> this looks awesome. You got two pizzas, I got pepperoni and I got sausage, 10, cheese sticks, and you get an option of either pasta or chicken wings. Get real. Actually, if I had the opportunity to go to Pizza Hut again, because I haven't been to Pizza Hut in a while. It's been a while since I last went to Pizza Hut, ate a piece of Pizza Hut. The last time I was at Pizza Hut was about, let's say, a year ago, a year or two ago. The last time I was at Domino's was uh, a few weeks ago. So if I go to Pizza Hut again, I'll get one of the rectangular pizzas and, and have a taste of and I'll try it out and taste it. Then one day, I'll try to order something similar to the dinner box, the family dinner box. In the UK, we got these ones from a restaurant and they gave us a portion of six barbecue wings. Not to be outdone, we went ahead and proved a point to no one by going just a little bit further with our wing size options. You can get six, you can get 12, you can get 18, or 36. 
Lemon pepper? Nope, I don't like that. Who's getting the better deal for their money? Well, in the UK, a large cheese pizza will cost you £15.99. That's a price of 15 cents per square inch. The US large hand-tossed cheese pizza is about $13.99, which is about nine cents per square inch, making it about 40% cheaper than the same pizza in the UK. So here we have a large classic crust cheese pizza and a large pan crust cheese pizza. Now these are the same price and the same diameter. We wanted to find out which one gives you more pizza for your money. So what we're gonna do is try and weigh equivalent slices and see which one comes out on top. All right, we will weigh a large slice ourselves. So Pizza Hut large pizzas in the UK are supposed to be cut into 10 slices, but they've actually cut this into eight. So what we're gonna do is try and find a slice that's the same size for scientific accuracy. Let's weigh a slice of classic crust cheese and see what it comes to. Now let's weigh the pan crust. So our equivalent size slice of pan pizza is about 103 grams. Similarly here in the US, this is the hand toss, this is the pan, both large cheese. Pan. So one slice of pan is about 125 grams. Hmm. The next one, that slice is almost the exact same size. 80 grams. That's like significantly less pizza. Same price. Uh, yeah, stick with the pan. Look how thick that is versus this. Uh, talking about prices, now with prices, it doesn't, it doesn't even surprise me that America, at the American pizza, you get more pizza for your money than in the UK. It doesn't surprise me. I guess what I can compare pizza to is the Domino's. So which pizza, so where can you get more pizza for your money? From pizza or Domino's? I'll let you be the, be the judge. For me personally, I've been to both restaurants, Pizza and Domino's, and I think they're the they're roughly similar. Rough, they're about they're kind of the same, like kind of the same, like they kind of differ. Prices kind of differ between pizza and a Domino's. Either either one of them is more expensive, one of them one of them is uh, more cheaper. I'm not too sure which one's cheaper or not. If you're gonna ask me which one, where can you get the more pizza for your money? I'll say because Domino's, that's the New Yorker pizza, which is about 14 inches. I'm not too sure about on Pizza Hut. Maybe they have it. You can correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think they have it. You can correct me if I'm wrong about that because I live in Australia and and you can correct me if I'm wrong. If you live in Australia, you can let me know. Because Domino's says the New Yorker pizza, where, where, where I live right now in Australia, I'm gonna say that you get more pizza for your money from Domino's than pizza. Not to put down pizza, but the, it's still a good place. But when it comes to value for money, there's some competition between stores, between Pizza Hut and Domino's. There's some competition there. In the UK, a large pan pizza should be cut into 10 slices, but ours is eight. Assuming it was 10 slices, each slice would be 226 calories, and that brings the total for a large pan to 2,260 calories. In the US, our pizzas apparently are all eight slices regardless of size, so one slice of a large pan pizza pizza is 360 calories, making the entire pie 2,880 calories. One of these also contains 99 grams of fat, as well as 3,400 milligrams of sodium. This entire pizza also has about 135 grams of fat. 54 of those are saturated fat, which I'm certain is the bad fat. And it also has 5.31 grams of sodium. That, in case you didn't know, punch in, is 200 and 21% of your daily sodium intake. Don't eat this all in one day. So it's got 100% of your daily flavor in it. What about the most calorific thing on the menu? Well, in the UK, that's a large stuffed crust pepperoni feast. If it is 10 slices, each slice is 292 calories, bringing the total to 2,920. 
One of these pizzas contains more than double your daily sodium allowance and more than triple your saturated fat allowance. If you want to have even more calories in your pizza, then you got to go with the most calorific pizza on the Pizza Hut menu. And thank you, Connor. That is, of course, the Meat Lovers. This entire thing is 3,760 calories, 400% of your daily saturated fat, 400! And it also is three times your daily sodium. Uh, if I've not put a fine enough point on it, don't eat this. Here's everything in a pan pizza base from a UK pizza hut. Wheat flour, water, yeast, baker's yeast, rehydrating agent E190, vegetable rapeseed oil, salt, premix, salt, calcium sulfate, emulsifiers E481, E472, E471, flour treatment agent E300, enzyme alpha amylase, xylanase, glucose oxidase, protease, cellulase, sugar, flour treatment agent, ascorbic acid, E300. In the US, our pan dough has enriched flour, which is bleached wheat flour, malted barley flour, niacin, furious sulfate, and don't mess with that sulfate, he's pissed, thiamine mononitrate, riboflavin, folic acid, water, yeast that contains 2% or less of salt, soybean oil, Vital wheat gluten, sugar, enzymes, ascorbic acid, sodium sterile lacetite. Lactolite. I think it's lactolite. Now the UK list might actually look worse, but you shouldn't be too scared of E numbers. For the most part, the chemicals actually exist in the US though as well, but are referred to by different names. For example, E481 is just another way of referring to the sodium steroid lactolate. Also, the E472E that's found in the UK dough is otherwise known as datum, and that appears in the US hand toss crust. What about the marinara sauce? Well, in the UK, it contains tomatoes, citric acid, sugar, oregano, basil, marjoram, thyme, salt, onion powder, maltodextrin, yeast extract, rapeseed oil, guar gum, garlic powder, and silicon dioxide. Whereas our sauce contains tomato puree, which is water and tomato paste, maltodextrin, salt, spices, garlic powder, tomato fibers, olive oil, canola oil, citric acid, and natural flavors. So it sounds like it's pretty much the same thing. How about the cheese? In the UK, we refer to our cheese as mozzarella, and it contains the following. Mozzarella cheese, salt, lactic cultures, and potato starch. It's actually pretty short compared to the first two. In the US, the Pizza Hut refers to its cheese as cheese, which contains mozzarella cheese, pasteurized milk, cheese cultures, salt, enzymes, modified food starch, sugarcane fiber, potassium chloride, excuse me, ugh, natural flavors, sorbic acid. Yeah. There is one thing to look out for on the menu. If you're in the US and you get a salad, the croutons contain azodicarbonamide, or ADA. This is a substance that's usually used to make vinyl foam plastics, which form things like yoga mats. It's actually been banned from use in food in the UK since the 1990s. Yeah, all right. Interesting. Quite interesting. So this is my comment on that yoga mat thing. It's always something. Even when we're trying to be healthy, our salad has yoga mat plastic in it. It's ridiculous. Like, why do our croutons have plastic in them? Just get regular croutons without plastic. It doesn't make any sense. This picture's the bomb, dude. It's really good. Here is everything you can only find on the menu at a UK Pizza Hut. I've got quite a few exclusives. And this are all the exclusives you can only get at a US Pizza Hut. So I'm not sure if it's like this in the US, but in the UK, Pizza Hut's operations are kind of split into two halves. You have a bunch of restaurants where you will go and have a sit down meal, and then you also have a bunch of carry out locations which just do delivery orders. The menus are actually slightly different depending on where you get your food from. The brown ones are actually from a sit down restaurant and the red ones are from a takeaway restaurant. We wanted to get a selection of both to see all of the foods you can get from UK Pizza Hut. Per what Harry was talking about before, uh, places for carry out versus uh, delivery on it only, I have no idea. I just went on the website and ordered it and this showed up, so. Let's start with the exclusive pizzas. So across these few pizzas, we have pretty much all of the exclusive customizations available in the UK. We'll start with some of the doughs. On the left, we have our gluten-free option. I think there actually is one of these in the US, but it could be fun to compare. Ours looks pretty standard from the top. My personal favorite is here, which is the Cheesy Bites crust. So instead of just a standard crust, they get twists of dough and fill them with cheese and then layer those around the oven. On, on one of Harry's pizzas, the guy that reviews the, the British Pizza Hut, the crust on one of the pizzas is not standard crust. It's like twisted. Like, like you mentioned before, like the, the dough is uh, 
it's twisted. It's not, it's not normal crust. It is pretty, quite interesting. I never saw a pizza like that. I never even saw a pizza like it. However, on on the American Pizza exclusives, I noticed that there's a Love Heart pizza. Did you notice it? If you didn't notice it, you'll see it again. Trust me. Very interesting. And I, I gotta say, for the exclusives, they both have interesting pizzas. Interesting exclusives. Here we have a uh, sprinkled kind of like herby, cheesy situation on the crust. I've never had this one before. I think it's quite new, but it looks and smells pretty good. And then finally, we have a vegan stuffed crust option, which is great because uh, you shouldn't be robbed of extra cheese just for being vegan. Right in the center here is the US exclusive Pizza Hut pizza. Uh, it's shaped like a heart and it has all the ingredients you only get in the US. Went with the creamy garlic Parmesan base as a sauce. The crust is a uh, flavored crust and I went with the hut favorite. I have no idea what that is. An exclusive meats I'd put on here was Italian sausage, meatballs, and pork. Also has banana peppers. Shaped like a heart, why it's all year round and not just on Valentine's Day is beyond me, but apparently you can do this. Nothing says romance like a heart-shaped pizza. How do you cut that thing though? It seems like getting even slices out of that would be an absolute nightmare. Look what I brought. All right, so I guess I will just do... Right? Speaking of cutting, speaking of cutting, right? You know how, you notice how um, Joe was using that tool to cut the pizzas? I actually hate those, two, those tools that he's using. I actually hate them. I'll tell you why I hate them. Because it's a pain in the ass to cut the pizza. For example, when I cook homemade pizza at home, when I've cooked homemade pizza at home, I have one of those tools that he has to cut the pizzas, and I actually hate it because it's very, very tough to cut the pizza. Like I noticed, I saw on TV where chefs, when they cook pizza, have this um, big, uh, this big knife that's shaped like this, and cut the pizza very quickly. I actually like those tools. I actually want to get those those tools one day. That tool that he's using to cut that pizza, terrible. Yeah, no, I hate that. Now, as is becoming traditional on Food Wars, what we have here is a UK-only pizza. This is a pizza with the Cheesy Bites crust, with vegan pepperoni, caramelized onions, and rocket on it. It's actually not bad. I'm gonna try a Cheesy Bite as well, because I feel like that's part of the experience. I think this is the first UK only creation we've made that I can actually endorse. This is actually pretty good. The vegan pepperoni, I've got to say, is actually good. The texture is pretty much there. It's like quite salty, a little bit of spice to it. And the cheesy bites, like it does make it a little bit harder to hold because it's like, what are, you, what are you supposed to hold on to? But they themselves are actually really tasty. So yeah, thumbs up for the UK only. Pizza Hut's most infamous menu items is their take on the calzone, aka the pizzone. P apostrophe Z O N E. I've had a pizzone before. They're actually really good. I was really bummed to find out that where we are filming it in this part of the United States, the uh, Los Angeles, California area, unfortunately, the pizzone is not available. Went on the internet, and sure enough, the pizzone is available at least in St. Louis and at least in Cincinnati. So if anyone watching the United States would like to ship me a pizzone from their pizzone plentiful part of the United States, please do. Um, I don't know how I'll get you my address. <laughs> Now, as you can see, we have a bunch of exclusive sides in the UK. I'm not entirely sure what all of these are because some of them look very similar. So we'll have a run through and I'll try and point out the one. I personally, I personally don't care about sides. I personally don't care about the sides. I just don't. I'm more into, I'm way more into the pizzas than the sides. Because the sides, you obviously get as a side meal besides the pizza. I usually don't get the side meal, I just get the pizza. That's just me. But I gotta say, that looks like, to me, what I see is a whole lot of boxes. Just a whole lot of boxes just sitting there on the table. 
So at the back here, we've got some potato wedges. I'm never really sure why restaurants offer potato wedges because to me, they're just worse than fries in pretty much every metric. Then we've got a bunch of different chicken options. We've got these kind of like chicken strip things here. We've got these kind of like spicy looking nugget things. We've got these herby looking nugget things. And then we've got some plain looking nugget things, uh, as well as these like, I think Southern fried bites. Apologies to actual Southern Americans because I'm sure they are an abomination. Here in America, we have something called Wing Street. What I understand, Wing Street was a separate business or separate restaurant chain that is owned by the same brand. and Therefore, you can get Wing Street wings when you order from Pizza Hut. Anyway, we have a bunch of different sauce options, like uh, we have a honey barbecue, buffalo, which can be mild or medium or burning hot, uh, garlic parmesan, and of course, what was this one that I hate? Lemon pepper, which I don't like. Uh, you can also get a Hawaiian teriyaki, a spicy garlic, a Cajun style dry rub, or you can just get these bad boys naked. Oof. Worst time to burp there. Why do all the Wing Street containers look like Death Stars? That seems like a sub-optimal way to transport your food. It's like a half ball, and then the lid is like another ball. Sauce talk. Sauce talk. You can also get exclusive sauces on the side. For instance, blue cheese. You get yourself some ranch. Uh, cup of marinara, and the uh, buffalo sauces of various temperatures, honey barbecue sauce, sides of sauces, we got you covered. Uh, outside of that, we've got some nachos. We've also got these like cheesy bites, which are just triangles of cheese that get breaded and deep fried because I guess cholesterol isn't a thing anymore. Uh, we've also got some onion rings. We've got some corn cobs. We have cheesy garlic bread, regular garlic bread, and we also have mac and cheese, but it turns out you can also do that with mac and cheese. Uh, it would actually be kind of funny if that mac and cheese, if you, you see how I was doing this, it would be kind of funny if the mac and cheese fell on his head. It would be, kind, it would be very funny if it fell on, it, fell on his head right in the middle of recording the video. It would be very funny. It would be hilarious for me. For me, it would be very hilarious. Uh, also, Wing Street Fries. Uh, just orders of fries that looks like you can get pretty much the same flavors as the wings. I mean, they toss them in the same sauce. Here's your lemon pepper. Oh, that is good. I don't like lemon pepper, I'm finding out. Something I thought every Pizza Hut around the world had, apparently not, are breadsticks. Looks like five sticks. Joe, we went over this in the Papa John's episode. That is not a breadstick. And you can also get cheesy bread, which is like breadsticks, but they bake them with uh, cheese on top of them. This is the chicken alfredo. <laughs> is this just how they packed it? There's a buffalo sauce and a barbecue sauce in here. Why? Uh, these guys right here, I'm probably gonna pronounce them wrong. Okay, papas. Like tater tots? Yeah. We also have a bunch of exclusive desserts at UK Pizza Hut. If you're eating in a restaurant, you have a few options, including one of these brownie slices. This is actually a vegan vanilla cheesecake, which looks and smells really good, I've got to say. And then you have a cookie dough thing, which usually comes with a little scoop of ice cream as well. And the desserts. <sighs> We're almost done, people. Uh, this thing right in front of me are Cinnabon mini buns. This is the ultimate Hershey's chocolate chip cookie. If you're getting delivery from Pizza Hut in the UK, there are also some exclusive options. This is another sort of giant cookie dough situation. Bites of Ben & Jerry's cookie dough. Again, it's usually served frozen, but they have now unfortunately defrosted. And then they have some branded ice creams as well. We got their triple chocolate brownie. Last in that list, cinnamon sticks with a lot of icing. You know I gotta do it. <sighs> See, I always think that these look like little tables for mice. So you could just put the tiny slice on the on the tiny table and have a little <laughs> little mouse dinner party. Yeah, and that's it. That's the end of the video. I gotta say that was very, very, very interesting. Very, very interesting to see the comparisons between the two. But I gotta say, I liked both sides. I liked. The UK's pizza and America's pizza. For me, if I was gonna choose between which one, I'll see. I'll go with the American pizza. Not to put down the British pizza, I just um, like the American pizza more because it's more, uh, 
I gotta say, how do I say this? I guess it's more cool pizzas. And it's bigger pizzas, and you get more pizza for your money. Yeah. And, um, and the, the desserts, I got, and the, the desserts, I gotta say, um, I don't think I'll have either of the, the desserts, either the US, the American pizza desserts, or the British pizza desserts. Yeah. Yeah, so that's basically my take on it. And if I was gonna, if you're gonna ask me which one I prefer, Pizza Hut or Domino's, because I've been going to Domino's more often than Pizza Hut, I'll say I'll lean more towards Domino's. If I gave Pizza another chance and eat a Pizza Hut more often, as often as I eat at Domino's, they'll be quite equal. And the reason why I personally choose a Domino's over Pizza Hut is because they have the New Yorker Pizza. And Pizza Hut, where I live, they I don't think they have it. But at least they have the rectangular pizza. And if I go to Pizza Hut again, I'll try the rectangular pizza next time. Yeah, and that's all I gotta say. Let me know what you think. Let me know let me know which one you prefer. The British Pizza Hut or American Pizza. Let me know down in the comments down below what you think. That's it for me today. And I'll see you on the next episode of the J W A Coolio Show.